game two, round eight, against White Weenie on the draw. I've kept a loose one this game. Uh, yeah, no white mana, and three double white cards, and all five of my spells are white. Oops, as you can tell, I had given up on this game, much like I did in, in uh, round six, I think it was, where I'm playing against the joke deck, and... The fact that I'm playing against a joke deck reminds me that I'm no longer in competition. And that upsets me apparently pretty deeply subconsciously on some level because my focus just disappears and I just stop caring. I stop thinking actively. And I just like didn't sideboard correctly at all, just threw cards around and then didn't mulligan, so I had a reason to be like you know, something I had something to wish for. I you know, hope, draw more white mana instead of just trying to play as best as I could. Um, and here <laughs> uh, I played the wrong fetch. Now I could like I fetch a forest, and if I draw a plains or a sun petal grove, then I can't cast my war monk because instead of fetching an island, that I played the fetch that can only find a forest. Yeah, I'm, I'm keeping it real tight. You know how we do it. I draw Birds of Paradise, I think. It actually gives me a little glimmer of hope. But it's obvious that... That the hope is for nothing. Not, not only does he have the path... But he also journeys for exaxes. So do the other game with the same video, I think. Yeah, no, we won't. Oh, I'll tell you how I sideboarded though. Um, I boarded in. I left in the pads and Gideons, and I boarded in a Linvala and. To negate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Huh. Oh, yeah, that's right. And I boarded out uh, one Jace and four Sovereigns to Conscription. I, I finally decided that I needed to either go with the Sovereigns plan or not. And he showed me Path to Exile, which makes me much less happy about depending on a six mana guy. So uh, once I saw Path, I just boarded out all of all of this package. And once you board all that out, it becomes easier to cut a Jace because uh, you don't have to brainstorm to put your conscriptions back anymore. And Jace. In this matchup is pretty hard to protect. So, um, Linvala, uh, it stops Student of Warfare from leveling, and more importantly, it legend rules their Linvalas. I don't know if my opponent is playing Linvala, but it seems like one of the very few ways that I could lose. So, that's an another good use for it. And then the gates just whatever they're good cards so yeah I'll bring you the final game of the Moto PTQ walkthrough in a moment 